Hey Laker Baritones, this is your section leader Nick speaking, and this is my fifth fundamental video for you guys. In today's video, I will be discussing the backwards march from a mark time, a uh, backwards march from a forwards march, and the forward march from a back from a backwards march. So this is the backwards march from a mark time. So you're going to start with your both feet planted on the ground, marking time, and on the end of the preceding count into the backwards march your body will extend back 45 degrees. Then your left heel will come back 22 and a half, uh, 22 and a half inch step, and your toe hits the ground on count one. Uh, when doing these two moves, the up and back movement, these are not simultaneous, or if they are simultaneous, they do not happen at separate, separate increments of time. So there's no up, back is up and back. Uh, when doing this backwards march, your foot will lightly drag across the ground. Lightly drag across the ground. There's no force kick back trying to reach for the step. Uh, do not lock your knees when you're backwards marching. You don't want to look like a flamingo out there. That's just very silly. And uh, in this, in these backwards march steps, your body will be balanced. Your heels will remain off the ground your knees will be slightly bent. And there's no lean to this move at all, no sideways, no forwards, and the natural tendency when taking these backward march steps is to take a step smaller than 22 and a half inches. Don't do that. Always try to take a, a step bigger than 22, when, what you think it is. And usually you won't get there. So I'm going to mark time four, and I'm going to take four steps back into a backwards march. Mark time. Mark. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. I don't have enough steps. Alright, so this is the backwards march from a forwards march. So on this last count of the forward march, your left foot will be behind. So your one, two, three, this is your last count. Your right foot will be down, your left foot behind. And it's a touch and go move. The next next step is a touch and go move. You're going to plant the ball of your right foot in, in, in going to plant it instead of rolling to three. On the first count of the backwards march, elevate your toes 45 degrees, and your left foot will already be back 22 and a half inches. And again, your body should be balanced, your heels remain off the ground, and your knees slightly bent, and your legs do not lock. And again, we can't stress this enough. Do not take too short of a step. It's always 22 and a half inches normally. So I'm going to do a forward march four into a backwards march four. And I'll do it slow so you can see everything. Forward, march, and one, two, three, touch and go, two, three, four. There you go. So now I'm going to do a forward march from a backwards march. So on this last count of the backwards march, you're your right foot does not roll through as it normally would, or it doesn't step through. And on the next count, your left foot will re-articulate re with the next count, and you're going to march like Mark Palmer. So I'm going to backwards march forward, and then do the re-articulate with the left foot and continue to march on. Backwards march, and one, two, three, four, and re-articulate. Two, three. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you at band camp.